Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Wow, we look as good as new. Hey everybody, welcome back to more Mass Effect 2. On Slim Atson, last time we went on a routine mission and fucking died. On uh, this time, we are going to be continuing our way through. Uh, of course, we can see at the top, this is the Lazarus Project. Lazarus, of course, in reference to the story from the Christian Bible of John chapter 11, the story of Lazarus, the man raised from the dead. And we will be remaining with our Captain Shepard. We'll be accepting the important face, which is the default face for Commander Shepard as a male. Here we can see our options for our classes. As I said at the beginning of last episode, you can change your class at any point. Um, so that is something important. That said, things are, each class is actually quite different nowadays. We'll go through each class and talk about what some of the strengths and weaknesses are. The Soldier is the most straightforward class out of them all. You have access to every type of gun, that being the assault rifle, shotgun, sniper, and heavy pistol. Actually, no, never mind, you don't have access to the submachine gun, but honestly, that's not a very big deal. Submachine gun is not the greatest weapon out there. Soldiers, uh, we can also see that there is the power training and ammo training. Uh, power training, there is the adrenaline rush and concussive shot. Those are basically unique skills. Uh, adrenaline rush is a increase to fire rate, uh, and it might also increase your ammo capacity. I don't fully remember. Uh, concussive shot can knock enemies down. Ammo, there, uh, one big thing is ammos are now a power-up as opposed to something that you can just apply uh, with your weapons, they are now applied by characters, um, and there's a bunch more. Incendiary does more damage to armor, we will get into that in a while. Cryo does pretty good damage to health, and Disruptor is good damage to shields. As it says down on the bottom, soldiers are pure combat specialists. They are the tankiest class, having the most health, but they do not have all too much in terms of variety. They are, again, they're very straightforward. They know what they're supposed to do, and that is just shooting things very well. The Infiltrator. Uh, infiltrators are long-range specialists that are dedicated assassins, basically. Uh, they are a combination between the combat and tech fields. Uh, infiltrators are uh, able to use pistols, submachine guns, and sniper rifles. Uh, tactical Cloak will make them temporarily invisible and will also boost up their damage dealt with their next attack. Incinerate, good damage to armor, and AI hacking will allow you to turn a robotic enemy to your side uh, for a little bit. Not the most useful compared to the last game. The Geth are a much uh, less common enemy. Infiltrators, again, they are very good at sniping. They are, again, your assassin class focused down on one particular enemy. Cryo does uh, very well at health. Incinerate does very good at armor. Good stuff there. On the exact opposite end of the spectrum is the Vanguard. Uh, the Vanguard is a shotgun specialist. They are very good at close range with incendiary and cryo armor. And the big thing with them is their biotic charge power. With the biotic charge, you can quickly dash next to an enemy, do a decent bit of damage, and you are right up there with them. And you can just start shooting away. The Vanguard is my personal favorite class to play as. Uh, because I just like the high-risk, high-reward combat style, as it says down there. Again, they are very good with their shotguns. Pull can also pull enemies out of cover, and Shockwave can do a decent bit of damage as well. And my game likes to close on me sometimes. 
which is very unfortunate. The Sentinel is a good support class. Uh, they have the tech armor, which I believe is a power cooldown, as well as um, a little bit of extra health and defenses. As well as having access to some good variety on both the biotics and tech. Uh, they also are uh, same case with these next three classes. They are only able to use the pistol and submachine gun, more focused on using powers as opposed to to their weapon play. Adepts are your typical mages. They are very good at controlling the battlefield, uh, so singularity is their big thing. They can pull enemies out of cover and keep them out of cover for a short time. Throw can knock people off of ledges. Pull can, well, pull people out of cover as well as a single person. Warp does heavy damage uh, as well, and shockwave is some good crowd control on top of that. And the Engineer is, again, a very support class, a support focus class, however, they do a little bit more high damage. That Combat Drone is a temporary companion that can do some decent chip damage to them, and that is their big thing. Uh, for all of them, their first, uh, their first thing on the power training is what they are most best used for. Good wording there. Uh, but Combat Drone is just good chip damage. Um, can seek out enemies, has a little bit of health, it can distract enemies, it can do some chip damage, and it's fairly reliable. However, we will be continuing with our same class of the Sentinel. Unf okay, I... Hmm. That's actually something I forgot about. Uh, this is stuff that is accessed because I have completed the game before on the save file, so... Um, I think I am actually going to restart and make sure that I don't have access to these because um, I do not want to have that extra gain. I could just not use them though, so I'll figure out between episodes what I want to do. So for now, I'll just do a more piercing arrow, I guess. Reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. My God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Can you stop talking for a second, Miranda? Miranda. Shut Okay. Uh, just like the last episode, we are doing things a little bit... Excuse me. Uh, things are getting a little bit intense to start things off. We're going to quick throw that, uh, throw our tech armor up. And we can show, no, let's just show off what we have. Tech armor, uh, will do a little bit of extra strength, last until destroyed, and it does also have, uh, 
Yeah, it's okay. So it's just a shield buff and then uh, bonus damage to powers or a little bit of a shield buff. Um, throw is our next thing that we have. Throw, very basic. Yeah. Uh, warp does damage. These will be unlocked as we unlock other things in our skills. We do start off with a little bit. I'm just going to not use armor piercing ammo because we're not supposed to have that. Defender is your class. Uh, we'll just boost up your basic stats. I will level up at a later point. Different from the first game, there is now an ammo system. I much prefer this over the uh, the wait and, uh, the waiting thing because it does mean that you can no longer just kind of wait out your enemies. It makes combat much more interesting. And we are going to throw that out. Throw is a pretty good skill to have. Again, throw that out. It can temporarily incapacitate an enemy. Uh, let's... No, don't... Why would you do that? Why would you do that, Chef? Let's keep reloading. Uh, right around our crosshairs, we can see that little circle closing in. That is our power, power recharge. Again, unlike in Mass Effect 1, powers are now all combined into one cooldown. However, it is a much shorter cooldown than they were in Mass Effect 1 as well. So instead of having to wait about 30 seconds for a throw, now we only have about 8 seconds, I believe it is. So that's pretty good to have as well. And, uh... Oh, no, you can. You can take as long as we need you to. Going to just look around. We've got a lot of shit going down. And this is our introduction to our heavy weapons. Heavy weapons are a new thing in this game, and actually only in Mass Effect 2. They are very, very strong weapons that have their own unique ammo pool. Everything else follows the same ammo pool of thermal clips. Well, they they all get boosted up by thermal clips, but like, they each have their own ammo set. Yeah, yeah, Miranda, you can deal with that. You're fine. Gonna pop on over here. And down they go. There are two different hacking mini games in this game. First one is this one where we just have to match up symbols. So we got that one there, that there, those up there, and we are good. Hacking mini game is not too difficult for that one. I do we can we get the other? Okay, it doesn't look like we have uh, anything with the second hacking minigame as of right now. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all this money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Log update. Alright, so there's... So we can hear a little bit more about the Lazarus project that we were undergoing after we had tragically died at one point in time, but we got better. No, I don't want to. That's a waste of a missile. That would definitely destroy that window. Wilson seems to be a very happy person. Have a nice trip. 
and we'll start clearing some enemies out. We can just throw you. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead, and if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. And meet Jacob, one of the characters of all time. He is a sentinel, like us. But we'll get into a little bit more details on him after the next part. We're gonna finish things off here. Actually, eh, we can finish things off by talking about him. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. Best technology money could buy. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting. At us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the Lower Decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the Non-Alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. 
Come on. The service tunnels are this way. And before we follow off, let's go and take a look at Mr. Jacob. Jacob, uh, contrary to Shepard, has a few less skills, and we can see that there is this blocked out one. And it's access to pull. Pull can, well, pull enemies out of cover. Incendiary ammo uh, does more damage to health. Uh, not more damage to health and armor. It's the big thing with that. Cerberus operative will also increase his basic stats. The barrier skill that he has here will not be unlocked for quite some time. These are your bonus skills or the loyalty skills. These will, again, as it says there, squad member is not loyal. This is something for the second act of the game, which we will not be getting to for quite some time. Once we do, we can get their unique skill, which is usually their best skill, which is kind of what our armor piercing ammo is. But, uh, I think that with all of that taken care of, that'll do it for this time. Also, And with that whining from Wilson, I think that'll do it for this time. And next time, we'll go and see if he's alive or something. I'm sure he can survive the transition between episodes. But until then, see you guys later.